Hi guys, Ashley from Ash Cash Budget here. If you're new to this channel, consider pressing the little red subscribe button down below so you can continue to follow me through my debt-free journey. I am bringing you my March 2018 mid-month budget update. Unfortunately, I do not have many of the other bills in yet because I usually get them later around the 20th, 21st of the month. So I'm still waiting on my phone bill, the CenturyLink, the electric and the city bill. But I'll go ahead and go over my checking balance with you first, what I have paid out, and then we'll check in with every dollar. So I got paid on the 8th, and I got paid $1,358.65. So over here on Friday, I've added that amount, and I'm going to subtract the cash envelopes, which I pull out pretty much as soon as possible when I get paid. So I got $225 for the cash envelopes, leaving me with $1,133.65. Over here, church, um, I haven't filled that in yet, but we actually got $300. As usually we get $150, and all that goes straight to the grocery and household fund, which is why I do not include it in my running total for my checking account but I like to note how much we get. So there was actually an event that we did, we, so we got 300 this time. Moving on to the 12th, uh, the balance was $1,133.65 minus $100 um, to my mom for my car insurance. That brought it down to $1,033.65. And then I didn't spend anything until the 15th where I paid off the last of my you know, middle of the month bills, and I also paid that ticket. So we have Discover for $85, Federal Loan for $130, and the ticket for $72, leaving me with $746.65 in my account. Um, so the next thing won't be until payday, and I'll add that in, and then I'll pay all of my end of the month bills. Moving into the every dollar app, I've added my pay right here at the top. I've estimated my pay two to be 1,100. I've left my boyfriend's amount the same until I get all the other bills for the household updated. So I've left all the household bills as the previous month's amount for now until I get those numbers in. And of course my savings, I went over here with you. I will be adding 50 to car maintenance, 50 to medical, 30 to gifts, 25 to shows, 10 to registration, and 20 to phone. Registration and phone are new. I'm gonna start saving up the registration. I will be due next May, I mean next March. And the phone is to start insuring my own phone instead of paying T-Mobile for insurance. So my I do expect my phone bill to go down, which is why I put in $87, but I don't know the exact amount. Uh, if you'll see up here, it does say I'm $33 over budget right now, but that's just because of my goal that I've entered for Capital One, so I'll show you that in a minute. Rent, of course, is $850, but I'm waiting for City Electric, um, waiting for the mobile phone to come in as well, and then the cable, which is the CenturyLink. Gas, uh, I did take out, so I've taken out the money for half of my cash envelopes, the gas, I did 100 the first time. I'll do net 90, I think, next time. If I need to update it, I will. That ticket I paid off, I'm still waiting for it to go through my checking account, but I have paid it. And so I will be keeping an eye on that just to make sure it was my stupid mistake for not paying enough attention as I was driving to work. So $72 stupid tax for getting a speeding ticket. Groceries and the household fund, I still am not funding this month. I'm doing pretty well with just the church check and I got other things I have to allocate for, but I did put, of course, 20 to cats, 10 to clothing, 25 to medical, 50 to personal, 20 to hair um, for the first part of the cash envelopes. And I'll be putting that same amount for the second cash envelopes. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I paid my auto insurance and then the Discover and Fed loan. So as you see here, the Capital One is punched in at 620, which is of course the goal that I set for this month is 620. So that just means I need to come up with another $33.09. I'm pretty confident I will have enough hours in my check 
but I don't like to overestimate my check. So as soon as that check comes in next week, then I'll see if I have made my goal. Anything over that, I think I'm gonna be putting towards my moving. I'll let you know during the budget report where I've allocated anything extra, but I am pretty positive that I will hit that extra $33 and hit the goal of 620 for the Capital One. So definitely check in with me at the end of the month to see how much over I got. I still wanna go through and sell some more things, but I'm thinking of gathering everything that I wanna sell out of my garage and then posting it and or doing um, a garage sale. I really wanna do a garage sale to try to get rid of some of that stuff. I think that'll be a better way to get rid of some of the items that I have versus trying to do it all online and the time that it would take to put them all online. So we'll see. I don't think that'll be this month though. So I might not bring in any money from selling anything this month, but I should at least hit my goal with just my paychecks alone. We'll see how that goes. Let me know how you are doing this March down in the comments below. Of course, I will put the little buttons up above to subscribe and another video that YouTube will suggest for you guys. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.